Okay, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit about Venn diagrams. And so I'm going to look at a Venn diagram for the set that I have on the screen. A intersected with the complement of B union C. And so to construct a Venn diagram for this set, we need to represent our universe, which is the rectangle and then in that universe we've got three sets A and B and A and B could overlap somewhat and then a third set C which could overlap the other two so we usually draw it this way and so this is A B and C and so to get the Venn diagram for this said I might need to break my drawing up into two pieces because we're going to do some scribbling and it may get a little bit messy to have it all on one picture. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a new universe over here. But let's focus on what I, uh, the on this first picture, let's focus on what the complement of B union C would look like so maybe I can take advantage of some colors. B union C would be everything in the sets B and set C. Right so in the red is B unioned with C. Right that's taking elements that are either in B or C. And the complement of that would be right as everything in the universe take away B union C so so everything that's left if we were to take away B union C so in let's see in blue everything surrounding B union C everything in the universe surrounding B union C. Okay, so in blue, I have shaded in the complement of B union C. Now, the Venn diagram that, uh, or the portion that I ultimately want to shade in my Venn diagram is A intersected with the complement of B union C. So, let me go back to black. Okay, so here's my set A, my original picture, right? And so I want to take the elements that are common to what's shaded in blue and my set A. Right? So I wouldn't want to include any of the red, anything here, right? But elements common to A and to what I have shaded in blue. So now I guess that doesn't look too bad with the different colors, but if you were going to draw this, you would want to represent A intersected with B union C just by shading in the appropriate portion of A. So it would be all elements that sit in here. Okay, so some sets, if you were going to draw a Venn diagram, some, sit, some sets aren't going to be quite that complicated, of course, but Venn diagrams can be a very good visual for representing sets, so lots of equalities can be um, verified visually using Venn diagrams. Uh, an example, uh, an example of an inequal or an example of an equality that we might be able to verify using Venn diagrams is this one. Now, in order to uh, in order to verify this, we're just going to do it visually uh, using Venn diagrams. So we can do a Venn diagram for. A 
the, the difference between A and B. Um, and also A intersected with B complement. Right, so if we if we drew a Venn diagram for this left side, now this is a little bit simpler because we only have two sets to represent A B. So the difference of A and B is going to be all the elements of A take away all the elements of B, or in other words, all of the elements that are in A but not in B. I kind of think of this a lot like you, you think of subtraction. It's the, the elements of A take away the elements of B. So that's going to be these elements. And then we could do the same thing over here. Another Venn diagram to represent this side. So A union with B complement, right? So again, we might go ahead and shade in B complement so we can see that. Um, the complement, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. I, I think I said A union B complement should be A intersect B complement. Uh, but if we shade in B complement, that's everything in the universe. that's not in B okay, so the entire universe except for B and then we want to take A intersected with what's shaded in red here and we can see if we do that I go back to black that looks a lot like our first example right, all the elements common to A and what's shaded in red, so would be these guys. And so doing this type of ver verification is not um, formal, but certainly if we're working through a problem and we just need to be able to verify some equality, this can be a very good visual way to do that. So good practical use of Venn diagrams.